friends. So, um, okay, this is day one, I guess, and um, this is part one, I guess. No, I'm not going to say part one. No, today is I'm going to talk about my day um, because I want to make a point about my stance on bad days. I'll talk about this more, trust me. It's something I'm very passionate about. But um, today, I, okay, last night I stayed up late watching a movie, The Help, with my sister, and um, it's pretty good. You should see it, I, I really enjoyed it. Um, anyway, and my mom woke me up at about nine o'clock in the morning, and um, told me, come on, let's go, we're going to visit your grandparents who live about an hour and a half away. I've been looking forward to visit my grandparents for a while, so I was pretty happy about it. Um, but I was going to also visit one of my friends who lives nearby. So the plan was, Amy, you take your car and me and your sisters will go see your grandparents and then I'll drive your other sister back to school because my sister goes to school in a city about 40 minutes away from us. So I'm like, okay, sweet. Um, so we're all getting ready, they leave first, and I'm like, have any of you guys seen my iPod? And they're like, no, um, did you leave it in the car last night? Because I know your hands were full, and because me and my sister went out for dinner last night and brought stuff back for my mom, and um, I was like, I don't know, I don't usually leave it in the car, especially when it's Canadian winter, <laughs> because it's fucking cold outside. Like, today it's like minus 17, I think. It's fucking freezing. Anyway. Um, and I'm like, okay, well, I'll go check the car. I need to get my bag from the car anyway. So I put the key in my car door. They've already got, I put my key in the car door and I'm like, why is this turning weird? Open the door and I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? The center, the center capsule thing, it's opened. My GPS is pulled out, but it's not taken. There's a little, I have a little like money purse where I keep pennies because I save pennies until I have 50 cents worth and then I trade them all in for dimes because I collect dimes and um, those are st like strewn all over the front seat and the passenger door is unlocked and my stereo which is not completely in my car yet but it's just like sitting there is untouched so immediately I'm like where is my iPod yeah so someone broke into my car last night and stole my iPod and um this might seem like oh my gosh your poor ipod blah 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 but you know what my ipod just turned four <sighs> christmas day and um i've had it for a long time it was my 80 gig ipod it was like one of the like first memorable classics of like this next generation kind of thing and i use it every day like absolutely every day. I listen to it in the car, I listen to it at work, I listen to it at home. Like I use that iPod so much and I, when I realized that it was missing, I just burst into tears. <laughs> like, a, uh, I ran in the house, called my sister's cell phone, like crying to her, like, oh my god, my iPod's gone, somebody broke into my car, blah, 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 blah. So, they come speeding back home. My mom comes in, I'm crying, I'm looking everywhere, I tore the house apart, not actually looking for my iPod, I couldn't find it, I was so frustrated. And eventually we called the cops and told them it's not a, like we're not expecting to get it back. But if you happen to know where it is, you should bring it back because it's like my child. And you know what, for someone who doesn't have a child or a pet or really any close people to love. I just love this little machine. I don't care how bad it is. I love my little iPod and I'm horribly, horribly upset that it's gone. And so first thought, wow, Amy, like that's like a really shitty way to start a day. You have to wake up early when you're fucking tired. You, your mom leaves the door open so the sun's coming in in your eyes and then when you're getting ready to go, collected all your things, you're late leaving because you're making a new playlist for your iPod, go to put your iPod in, oh wait, it's been stolen. So, immediate thought, I'm having a bad day. Oh my God, this day is gonna be so bad. Blah, 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 blah. Negative, negative, negative. But this is my thing. I try not to believe in bad days anymore. 
I know that sometimes you have a lot of bad things happen in one day, but I refuse to call them bad days because I feel like when we call things bad days, we're just setting it up for more failure. Calling it a bad day is asking for negativity. And really, when you have a bad day, or bad day, bad morning, bad start, woke up on the wrong side of the bed, things are just not working for you, all you can do is climb right back up. <laughs> and that's what I did. I went and saw my grandparents. I haven't seen them in forever. My grandpa is um, 93 this year. Um, I love him to pieces. He was hilarious today. I've missed him so much, so I was so glad to see him, and I'm so lucky to have him in my life, as well as my granny, who is 88 this year. And then I went and spent the rest of the day with one of my best friends, um, who is originally from Quebec, but came to visit in Ontario, and I got to see him while he's down. Hopefully I'll get to see him again. And... Even though I didn't have my iPod and I had to drive the hour and a half, two hours away from home when I didn't have my iPod, it all ended up being okay. Like, it sucked a lot because, well, it didn't suck a lot. I got my sister's iPod and erased it and put my playlist on it, but I could have let that take me down all day, and I didn't. And I think it's really important that other people don't let, like, one specific event make their whole day plunge. Honestly, if you're having a bad day, don't let yourself, don't let those thoughts come into your head of, oh my god, what a bad day, oh my god, this is a bad day, and start repeating all the horrible things that happened to you in the day, because it's just going to make it worse. What I do, when I think that I'm having a bad, bad day, I just think to myself, nope, better day, better day, better day, better day, and most of the time it works. Maybe it'll work for you. And that's all for today.